Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tanya's Tea Time. I'm Tanya. Uh, we're going to do a reading for the sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs in Sagittarius for the month of January 2022. Everybody, welcome. Um, I am recording this at the end of December. I'm trying to get this out to you guys early so you guys can, um, yeah, I'll look at your video and see what the energy is. I'll be putting out the weeklies too. I have not forgotten about it. And I'm going to be doing some singles singles and love videos um, upon request. So we'll see how that goes and see how you guys like them. Okay. Um, page of water. She's very young. Okay. But she seems to be balanced. She seems to be alert. Um, and she is between literally two worlds, water worlds, earth world. She can She's like a human, but then she's like a fish on the bottom. And I feel like, I feel like this is almost like the balance between two, to be honest with you. And I feel like for some of you, whatever this is that this applies to love or work situation, Sagittarius in January, there's some sort of balancing that you're doing. And I feel like it's something new. I feel like this is something that you're unfamiliar with. I see almost like the full card for some of you guys. This is like a new, a new beginning. Okay. And if for some reason this reading does not apply to you, don't try to make it fit. It's okay. Uh, check your moon, your rising and your Venus signs as well. Okay, guys. Um, give me an Oracle card for Sagittarius for January, please. 2022. I'm so excited for 2022. <laughs> Hope you guys are too. Interesting, my last reading I just did for Leo had this as well. Messages for a rabbit. And she's got like this fish too. It's, somebody's very connected to nature, connected to animals. This could be also um, some sort of soul connection you feel to nature. But again, I feel like this is, yeah, this is very young energy that's coming in new let's go to tarot and i will clarify so stay with me to the end okay a lot of times the messages come in full at the end okay guys i have out here the king of pentacles this is the first card king of pentacles Give me more for Sagittarius for January 2022. Sorry, I heard like the wind beneath my wings. I don't know if that song applies to you guys. Or having the wind beneath your wings. Somebody's going sailing. I'm just getting a lot right now. Two of Pentacles having to juggle or balance something. Knight of Swords. Something quickly coming in for you. Some sort of wish fulfillment, Sagittarius. And having to defend yourself in January. Let's see how this applies. A very, again, a very young energy, but this is stable. This is new. I feel like a lot of you are having a wish granted that's coming in in January, Sagittarius. And it might quickly come in and surprise you, take you off guard. It might actually bring in more responsibility in one way or another. Some of you have children that you are balancing with a workload. But you're stable. You're doing it. You're doing it, Sagittarius. Okay, let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please. That was quick, the moon. Something being illuminated in January. Something you might not have known about, Sagittarius. Some sort of offer that you rejected before is coming in and it's not being rejected this time.
Some of you might have had a chance in the past for something stable and you have like a, I wish I, I could have taken advantage of that. Okay. Whatever this is for you, a person, a job, you know how this applies to you more than I do. Okay. You guys know your story. Some of you had rejected that and wish you could have changed that in the past. It's coming back around. 2022 January opening up with a bang and you guys are being offered what you wish you would have taken in the past. Wow. There's a lot of cards here. <laughs> um, this one is the one that came out by itself and this is the one I'm taking. Okay. This is the 10 of cups. Okay. This is balancing some sort of extra responsibilities, okay, that's going to lead you to your happiness here, this family happiness here. I also have in this small book here, <laughs> this Ace of Cups, some sort of unconditional love. This could be a relationship. This could be work. You guys know how this applies. It's very new. It's going to lead to a lot of happiness for your family. And it came out again. I knew it. If it was meant to come out, it would come out. And it came out. The Ace of Cups. Asking, the universe is giving you this hand. This hand of unconditional love. Asking you, can you be this unconditional love as well? Can you be this to somebody else? And this is coming towards you with someone else as well. Okay? So this is asking you both ways. Can you be this cup? And when you see it, it's coming to you as well, okay? It's vice versa, all right? There's some sort of responsibilities you're having to juggle with this newness. This might be actually juggling some new family responsibilities when this loving offer comes in. Some of you guys might actually be getting involved with somebody that has children. And together, you guys are forming your family. You might have rejected this idea in the past. You might have not been ready to be someone else's stability. Um, because when... So it gives one mom and one dad. But when there becomes this extra person that is united with one of the pair, the mom or the dad, this extra person that's not the biological mother or father um there comes a point where this person is looked up to as an extra stable person for that child guidance for that child um you might feel a soul connection to this child that is not biologically yours or vice versa. Um, but I feel like there's definitely unconditional love. There's happiness here. And I feel like you're ready for it, Sagittarius. And if this is not the case, I feel like some of you guys are being blessed with family. Extended family. Um, some of your kids might be having children. Waiting for your ships to come in, but they're coming in quickly. There's something coming in for you very, very, very fast after you've waited. Some of you guys are becoming parents, grandparents, um, I swear. Or some of you guys are taking on new responsibilities with family, Sagittarius. Um, but some after waiting a while, this is coming in quickly. Yeah, quick also quick communication coming in. If this is a job, you guys are going to be taken off guard. This is completely off guard. This is something you guys always wanted, a career you always wanted, and it's going to affect your family life in a positive way, okay? And it's coming in quickly. It's something that you waited for for a very long time, but it's coming in now. It's coming in hot in January. Not having a bunch of choices to make because it's down to one. It's down to one. It's down to your wish fulfillment. It's down to 
something very exciting, very new. Wow, Sagittarius, I'm just getting like butterflies in my stomach. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be very, very, very excited when this offer comes in. Um, if this is an, an addition to the family, of course, you guys are very happy and feel very blessed. But if this is also a job, you guys are ecstatic because this is like what's going to give your family stability, give you stability, give you guys happiness because of that stability. And everything's going to be coming into balance. It's new. It's something that you always wanted but never had the chance to do. Wow. Yeah, that's the Empress. The Empress. The Empress and the Knight of Wands. It's something you're attracted to. It's something that you like. Okay? Is your wish fulfillment, okay? It's something that you want, something that you are in fire about, something that's going to help birth a new life. I'm telling you, some of you guys are having kids. Some of you guys are going to get news that you're, you're pregnant, your spouse is pregnant, your, your children are having babies. Uh, and for some of you, this is a, a birth of a new life, of um, a new chapter of a, of a, um, a job a career something that's going sorry i didn't mean to get like stuck there for a moment but i just i keep just looking at like new life new life new life new life it's exciting the sun card on the bottom oh it's a yes it's a yes um wow and the sun card with the empress you guys this is definitely somebody someone's having a baby out there it's not for everybody but someone's having children someone's pregnant having children what you always wanted you're going to be able to give it unconditional love uh, it's new there's a child for some of you this is children and pregnancy congratulations uh <laughs> and for some of you this is a job again congratulations it, it's all good it's really really good uh, here's a healing card. This is like um, healing after something emotional um, or some sort of uh, tower moment. But I feel like that's this defensive um, energy here that you're healing from this defensive energy because there's so much good coming in. I feel like maybe you guys were um, a little rigid with some people for a long time. But I feel like that's coming to an end in January because you guys are, this situation is bringing you healing. This situation has helped helping you um, remove yourself from that energy of being defensive or cold or rigid. Yeah, look, this is warm, attractive. You're feeling attractive. You are very passionate at this time, Sagittarius, especially about this offer. Yeah, and there's the balance. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this situation is bringing you in all kinds of balance that you needed and all sectors of your life. Personal, um, if it's a job, it's helping your personal life, your family life. If it's the blessing of a child, it's helping balance out um, the family. And there's going to be so much love here. It's unbelievable. And to start off January like this, and having your wish fulfilled, whether this is for a child or a career, either way, it's a huge blessing. It's guided by the universe and it's here for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. <laughs> happy January, happy 2022 Sagittarius. This is beautiful. Um, if you guys, this doesn't, if this does not apply to you, which I wouldn't know why you wouldn't want this to apply to you because this is very, very good. Uh, if you guys love it, claim it, give me a like, tell me like how it applies to you, how it did apply to you. Um, I love the comments. Um, if it doesn't, check your moon, your rising, your Venus signs, no problem. Don't try to make it fit. And um, I'm wishing everybody just a wonderful 2022 and I will see you.